Hello friends, this video on cubes and cube roots part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, perfect cubes also form interesting patterns just like uh, square numbers do. So whenever you observe any perfect cube, you would see that is a sum of consecutive odd numbers. Now again, you might be surprised that when we learned about perfect squares, there also we saw that perfect squares were sum of consecutive odd numbers. So how is it possible that perfect squares and perfect cubes, like they are having this, they are showing the same pattern? Well, it is not exactly the same pattern. Let's have a look. So these are the first few perfect cubes that we have seen, right? So let's see how they are sum of consecutive odd numbers. So one is anyways one. So when it comes to 8, you would see that 8 is sum of 3 plus 5. What is 3 and what is 5? They are odd numbers. They are consecutive odd numbers as well. When it comes to 27, it is sum of 7 plus 9 plus 11. So 7, 9, 11, they are again consecutive odd numbers. Now another interesting pattern is that if you look from the top, you see 1. The next odd number is 3. Next is 5, next is 7, 9, 11. So basically it's an order. So when you look at the perfect cubes in an order from in the increasing order, you see that the consecutive odd numbers of which it is a sum, those odd numbers are also in order. So when it comes to 64, can you guess what which are the numbers whose sum would be 64? So after 11, you have 13. So 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 would be 64. Similarly, 125 would be 21 plus 23 plus 25 plus 27 plus 29. So in that fashion, even without adding these numbers, you can just guess what would be, I mean, which are the numbers whose sum would be 216. It would be 31 plus 33 plus 35 plus 37 plus 39 plus 41. So in this fashion, what's happening? You see that it is the sum of consecutive odd numbers and the number of odd numbers is gradually increasing. Like when it was for 8, what is 8? 8 is 2 cube. So there were 2 odd numbers, 3 and 5. When it was for 27, 27 is 3 cube. So there it was sum of 3 consecutive odd numbers. When it was 64, which is 4 cube, then it was a sum of 4 consecutive odd numbers. So now you see the, uh, now you understand the pattern. So what happens is every perfect cube is equal to sum of consecutive odd numbers. And how many odd numbers sum is, it is depends on whose cube that number is. For example, 125 is cube of the number 5. So that means it would be sum of 5 consecutive odd numbers. So this is the interesting pattern which is exhibited by the perfect cubes. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.